You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Jesse Lee Peterson, you up to bat? Bye. Tell me I ain't the fucking go. It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022. Focus on you in 2022. We back with another reaction. You know, we trying some new stuff. Y'all already know how I do, man. I be trying different stuff all the time. But I seen this uh, Jesse Lee Peterson Savage Moments. I was like, man, let's tap into this and see what's going on. Because this dude, Jesse Lee Peterson, be saying some wild shit. But look, if y'all know any other videos, man, y'all want me to check out, make sure y'all hit me on my Instagram and send them to me. Well, let's go ahead and get it, man. Fire Squad. What's popping? Let's get it. Are you a Christian? I am not. You're not a Christian? No. And how, where do you put yourself as re concerning of religion? Maybe I'm multi-religious, if that makes sense. No. <laughs> I, I am a person who believes in faith and goodness holistically. Mason, I've <coughs> noticed that women today, not all, not all, but mostly liberal women, mm. they seem to be, they pretend to be tough, but yet when you see these type of movements, they are saying that they're weak. You know, they need laws and they accuse men. It's as though they don't know how or have the strength to say no to a man or to walk away. Whereas when I was growing up, mm. women were stronger. Mm -hmm. And if, if they didn't want to do anything with you, you knew it. You said, okay, fine. You know, <laughs> uh, what happened to these women that they're so weak that they need to pass laws? They're always complaining and <laughs> starting movements. Well, yet you hear them say, oh, I'm a strong woman. I am, I'm strong, I'm wonderful, I'm a, you know, it's like they're lying, it's a lie is in there somewhere because a strong woman or a strong person wouldn't be crying and passing laws and trying to hurt other people. What? They would defend themselves, they would go on. Bro, you see how she looking at this dude? Like, the fuck is he talking about? On with life because life offers so many challenges. Are they are they weak or are they strong? I don't know what they are and what they want. And it's mostly liberal women, mm. feminist kind of people. We have found that it actually takes great strength to come forward to tell your story. And it, it doesn't takes, take much strength to do it that. It does. It takes strength to say, "Hey, guy, I don't want to have sex with you. Leave me alone." There were plenty of white, privileged oppressors that took advantage of the system to continue to abuse and oppress African Americans who are great contributors of society. When did that happen and when? All throughout history, as soon as white people started going to Africa and pulling people against their will onto slave ships. That didn't happen. That's a made up lie. <laughs> uh, the blacks were sold to the Arabs uh, by other blacks, elitist black, rich blacks, kings, and then they, those Arabs took them to other parts of the world and sold them. What's she looking Arabs like? Just go to Africa to get some Negroes. That was made up. Either way, they were sold against their will. A human being is not to be bought or sold. They're not a commodity. But it wasn't about a so-called white privilege. Male. Okay, let's substitute the word white for Arab then. No, yeah, it was That's a, fine. The Arabs who did it. And yes, maybe that was wrong, but... Maybe white, that was wrong. So likewise, but it was still, but it was still wrong. It's such though. a very interesting point you're making. Because likewise, these liberal women, they could be making up lies too. Just like you thought that was the truth, <laughs> they could be pushing a lie as well with a hidden agenda. Is that possible? No. Do you consider yourself a feminist? I consider myself a human being. How about a feminist? I consider myself a human being. How about a feminist? I consider myself a human being. I can see that you're a human being, but do you consider yourself a feminist? I can see you're a human it's a being. Good, you know, it's a good question. That's something that's been asked of me quite a lot I'm recently. Sure, yeah. And what is feminism? Okay. Uh, well, feminism is a Should I look it movement up? both socially and anthropologically Anthropo in I recent promise. modern history, although it has existed previously throughout civilization in many cultures. Um, 
Let me give you the answer. Feminism, the doctrine advocating social, political, and all other rights of women equal to those of men. Now let's see what she talking about. When, where is it's concerned for women's women's rights, um, whether that's equality or education or the right to work or reproductive rights. Um, and that, that happens through um, social activism, through, through lawmaking, education, so on and so forth. My definition, Why are you looking I like think that? a feminist in its most fundamental, just so we're clear, right. the most fundamental, simplest form is somebody that looks at a woman and goes, hey, you're cool. That's a very interesting statement. And yeah. so I need a short answer. Okay. I've never asked anyone this before. How does a man look at a woman and not think she is attracted and think sex? How is that possible? They just, they, they, they make a choice not to do it. But it's okay for men to look at women and go, yeah. I think any man Mama that Mia. says that they, if any <laughs> man, if any man <laughs> says that they don't do that right. in their head, they're probably lying. Yeah. Probably. And women too, right? Absolutely. It's yeah. a human thing. Yeah. Are feminists in competition with men? Yes or no? Some of them are, some of them aren't. I got that, that impression for the, from the godless women at the Golden Global the War, that they were in competition with men. Some of them are, some of them aren't. Do you love men? Do I love men? Uh -huh. I, I do. You do? I do. And what is love? Mm. Should I look that up too, or? I think that, uh, what is human love? Like, what is love between two people? Oh no, just what is love? A profoundly tender, passionate affection for another person. Now let's get back to the scheduled program. A woman accused a man of sexual assault. Mm -hmm. Should we just take her worried at it or just hear her out, but wait until the evidence presents itself? I think, well, I mean, being the founder of the I Believe You Project, our, our aim is to have belief be the default position for all survivors of sexual violence. Before the proof? Mm. I think that it's important that we hear them out. It is, what but is not, not okay. not believe it though, right? There are countless women and men who have brought forth proof to community leaders, sis, uh, the system, law enforcement, whatever, and they are disbelieved regardless of the well, proof. Well, that's a right. different story. But just because someone says it, should we believe them just because they said it? I think it's worth reserving judgment. Wow, so they sitting over here saying like, they playing this clip like, yo, she said you should reserve judgment, but it's, the song is just like, I believe you, right off the bat. I have a friend, uh, uh, there are, I have a lot of friends, I think. Um, you know, Trump has, has, do you think that Trump tells lies, blatant lies? Do you see that the president is more transparent than any president or administration in recent history? No, absolutely not. Absolutely how not. How is he not transparent? Well, why does he own up to the Stormy Daniels story if he's transparent? That's dumb, man. Don't go there. I mean, give me something <laughs> I'm real. Asking, that's a question. That's a personal thing. Give me something it's, real. It's, it's, give me something real. The truth somewhere. Give why me, doesn't he just own the truth of it? That's shallow. I'm not going there with you. That's shallow. Give me something why is real. Why shallow? But it's but it speaks about his character, though. What does that have to do with the president? Bro, why he be so chill when he be talking to people, bro? Like his emotions never change on his face. It's crazy. In how is he the light now? when he when his character is in question? How is he the light? His life? character is not in question. I'm questioning his character. Because, These are questions he hasn't answered. And the reason you're doing that because you are a member of the family of the children of the lie. <laughs> are you a Christian? Uh, I believe in God. Yes. Are you a Christian? I believe in God. Are you a Christian? I don't, think God, I don't think God intended for us to have identities that said we're specifically what 
he wants us to be. I don't think he wants us to be called Christian or Jewish Patrick. or Buddhist or anything. He just he Patrick, wants us to believe in him. So, are you a Christian? I believe in God, yeah. I, I didn't ask that. I asked, are you a Christian? I believe in God. You're not going to answer that question? Well, I don't know what, how, I, I don't know what a Christian is. I, I grew up in Christian church. I, I'll tell you that. But let me now, ask, are you a Christian? How many times are you going to ask this? Who, me? No, you. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if I can identify like that. Because Patrick, in my eyes, I've, uh, Christianity has done a lot of harm. Patrick, are, well you, are you a Christian? Christian. I, I, I don't think so. Patrick, are you a Christian? I don't think so. You can't answer yes or no? I, I'm not sure. That's for me and God to figure out once I meet God. I will figure that out. This is insane. You realize you sound insane right now, right? <laughs> no, absolutely not. All absolutely right. not. I told you I grew up in a Christian church. I know exactly what Christianity is. But, but you just said, how, how, do you know, how do you know what Christianity is when you don't know if you're one or not? Well, I'll tell you this. My father, if you know I what it is, a, if you know what Christianity Christian. is, then you would know if you want or not. So right. it doesn't make sense. I, I, then I'm not. I'll say I'm not. You're not a Christian. Why is that so hard to say? Well, because the reason I say that I'm not is because I don't think I live up to the parameters of what a really good Christian is. But you is. still should know if you want or not. The answer is yes or no. No. Then I'll say no. Amazing. <laughs> Patrick, I appreciate your call. Hello? That's all? Yeah. That's all? Uh, yeah, because your mind is blocked. You no, can't it's not see. blocked. Just I'm trying to talk and to you in, in no, reasonable not. terms. No, 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 no. You're not trying to be reasonable at all. Your mind is blocked. You're an Obama fan. No, no. I'm you are a Trump, Trump hater. <laughs> no. And you are a beta male. You are, you're perpetuating <laughs> racism, Jesse. No, I'm not. You, I'm call, you call Trump the great white hope. He is. Don't you understand what that says to people? What does that say? Well, when you, when, you don't understand what that says? What does it say? No, I don't. Listen, I don't understand what that says I, to I'm, people. I'm going to say, I'm going to say one thing. I don't thing understand what that says to people. What does it say? Well, it sounds like you have a little self-hatred going on. When I call the president the great white hope? Well, when you give him more light than you give yourself, yeah. But I'm not the president. He's the president. I'm talking about him. That means nothing. We're all human beings. It means nothing. So what does it say to you when I call the president the great white hope? Well, it, 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 it implies a certain negativity that you may not be thinking about. And what's that negativity? Well, look, whether you want to admit it or not, America... The great country of America was What's built on the What's that negativity of that you get when I call the great the president the, the great white the hope? The great country of America was built on the foundation of racism. Of, of that's not true. That's a lie. Racism. That's a lie. Is it really? Yeah, it's really a lie. This guy. How is that? When we were enslaved, the white men weren't. You you were never enslaved. My people were. You were not enslaved. That's a lie. When were you enslaved? <laughs> <laughs> Where was I enslaved yes. personally? Yeah. Well, Jesse, I'll tell you this. When I grew up Where in my house... Where were you enslaved? My parents never taught us about racism. They I got to go. I got to go, go. What an idiot. <laughs> okay, um, now... So are you saying that the president is wrong for putting up a wall around the border? Yes, I feel he's definitely wrong for that. Why, he wrong? A, Why is he wrong for that? Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm from upstate New York, Utica, New York, to be exactly. Like I said, I'm biracial. My mother's white, father's black. Now I'm from Utica, New York, which is a melting pot of people. When I say it's literally... Why is the president wrong for putting a wall around the borders to stop people from just coming in? Because this country was built on nothing but immigrants. That's not true. In my city alone, I have 87% of people pretty much that is a melting pot. Were those immigrants illegal? I get, yeah, majority of them was coming from Ellis Island and back in, yeah, definitely. And they you came could, into the country. Show proof. They came into the country illegally. Many of them did. You got many of them that came under. You got many of them that crossed into this country Amazing. back in Amazing. the days when immigration. These are the people that built this country. Uh, the country, the country, had already been built <laughs> before those people came. That's why they were able to come. 
Because the country was... No, if anything, they they country. No, 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 hold on. The country was already (laughs) here. You know who the Great White Hope is, right? The Great White... Do I know who that is? Uh Uh-huh. Like Larry Bird? (laughs) Larry Bird. (laughs) He said Larry Bird. All right, that was Jesse Lee Peterson, Savage Moments Part 13. Bro, this dude... This dude is different, bro. I don't know where his mind be, but he keep asking the same questions until he get an answer. Now, that's one thing I do like about him. Are you a feminist? I mean, uh, are you a feminist? Uh, are you a Christian? Uh, I mean, uh, are you a Christian? I mean, I believe. Uh, so I like the fact that he press people on what he's what they be saying, but this dude be saying so wow shit. Wow shit. But you already know what you gotta do, man. Drop your rating. I said drop your rating. He got me fucked up. Drop your comments, man. Have you heard about this guy? What do you think about this dude, man? But till next time, man, self-love and positivity. Hit that subscribe button. Fire Squad, I got you and you know it. Hey.